I'm gonna start with the data from March of 2020, and then I'm gonna jump into the maybe more important data from just last week, because again, as we've been talking about this, things are changing very quickly. We need to really stay on top of the most recent information we possibly can. March 2020 was a slow month for transactions as we kind of expected that it would have to be. Mid-March, lots of real estate agents were told they can no longer use their offices. After three weeks into March, the governor of New York told us it would be a crime if we showed properties in person. So, as you might imagine, that did impact transactions. We saw resale transactions go down by over 26%. We saw new development transactions go down by over 63%. We saw, and that, you know, it's interesting, transactions below a million dollars seem to have been impacted by less than transactions above a million dollars. The loan exception being Midtown resales above $5 million went up by 100%. We saw eight transactions over $5 million in Midtown in March 2020. We saw four in March of 2019. Not sure that's a trend, but it is a fact. So that's what happened. Um, looking at supply, we've been talking about for months that supply was a little bit too high. We needed it to go down in order for the real estate market to recover and to start to go back up. It went down, but maybe not necessarily in the way that is going to actually help prices. We'll have to find out uh, in the months that come. But we did see resale supply go down by a little bit over 17%. Pricing, you know, take a look at it. But again, remember, as we've talked about before, this is data really from about six months ago, not new data. Really, this is showing what was happening in terms of pricing in the fall of 2019. Important to look at it, but not super instructive for where we are right, right now. Looking at the weekly data from last week, it was unfortunately a really tough week. We saw the equity markets go down again, though thankfully not by as anywhere near as much as they had when the weeks had been bad in the past. We saw the Dow go down by a little bit over 6.5%. We saw the S&P 500 go down by a little bit over 2%. Not terrible numbers, but they went down, and that's a thing. Something to look at. The bad number for the week, as was the case the week before that, is that the initial jobless claims were reported to be over 6.6 .6 million people really, really huge numbers. That's almost twice as much as the 3.3 million the week before that, which was a staggering number. The 6.6 .6 million, that's almost 10 times more than the previous high that was set in 1982. I think all of us now know people that we love and care about who've lost their jobs. And my hope, I think all of our hopes, is that once we get on the other side of this virus, we can see a real recovery in the economy. We can see people get rehired. We can see new jobs be created because the big problem is not only that people are being fired, that's a huge problem. The a huge part of the problem as well though is that people who otherwise might be hiring are holding off. It's very uncertain times. They might still hire. We just need to, they're probably going to wait until things are a little clearer. On the bright side, um, we saw mortgage interest rates continue to go down. We saw the federal relief package start to be rolled out, people starting to get their money, people starting to figure out how much money they're gonna get, how to get it. And we've, you know, already conversations have started at the federal level for another relief package. Some of which, you know, again, we don't know what the terms will be, but some of the terms that they're talking about will specifically help real estate. There had been a provision about a year ago that put a cap on were called state and local taxes. Most specifically, real estate taxes were limited to a certain level. It, it hurt New York City real estate, but not nearly as much as it hurt some suburban markets, some other markets throughout the country. Rolling that back would help real estate, again, not only in New York City, but throughout the country. Hopefully that will be the case, we'll have to see. Um, we saw con conversations continue, trying to figure out this oil problem that we have. It seems like maybe a deal could be in the works, it seems way too early to know whether that's actually going to happen or if it's just talk, but it would be great if that could happen. It would certainly help the economy a tremendous amount. I hope that you are staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy, and I hope that you're finding some amount of happiness in this, in this moment. I know that it's not always easy, but there are moments there if you look for them. And I hope to talk to you soon.